Hello there. The Prime Minister has once again ruled out a second EU referendum, despite the Remainers claiming that the public want one. Now this will be a short video tonight because I've had a long day of meetings today about the future of mental health services in Dorset, where a lot of good stuff is going on. Now the Prime Minister Theresa May has again ruled out another EU referendum. This is despite Remainers claiming a groundswell in support in favour of another public vote. The Independent says that the People's Vote March last week where they now claim that 700,000 people attended, together with the million people who have voted for it via their own petition, proves it. But a later poll against a second referendum has already garnered over 93,000 votes, and if you haven't signed that petition yet, there is a link to it in the descriptions box below. However, with the government against a second referendum, it's not going to happen. But there's nothing wrong with keeping the no to a second EU referendum pressure on, is there? Speaking in a summit in Oslo in Norway, the PM said quite clearly there will be no second referendum on Brexit. And she also stated categorically that there were no plans for another general election, as that would not be in the national interest. But we've heard that before, haven't we, in 2017? Also, in a nice little victory, Theresa May has made an agreement with the Norwegian PM that secures the future of Norwegians in the UK and UK citizens in Norway. Bear in mind, though, that the Kingdom of Norway is not in the EU itself. Now, Ian Duncan Smith says that he thinks the UK economy will do very well outside the EU, whatever the circumstances, and also said that the British people do not want to hear of any more Remainer doom and gloom. They just want to see the government get on with getting the UK out of the EU. He also referred to a poll conducted after yesterday's budget, which, by the way, will stand deal or no deal, this poll shows 52% of respondents are backing a no-deal Brexit. According to Politico, the Politico Hanbury poll shows the country remains as divided as ever over Brexit, with 52% either not buying the warning that leaving the EU without a deal would negatively impact spending on public services, or saying reduced public spending is a price worth paying. In an echo of the 2016 EU referendum, 48% say they agree with the government that no deal will mean less money for public services, and this is not a price worth paying. So much for the claims that we are now all hankering for a second referendum. We must march on and see the 2016 result through properly. Some people are, st are sort of calling this a shock poll. I don't because it reflects what most people I talk to are thinking. And the more scaremongering they hear from the Remainers, the more these people want to leave the EU. What the Remainers haven't quite cottoned on to yet is that the people with the positive message for the future of the UK, the Brexiteers, are winning the argument, the hearts and the minds with positivity, while Remainers' negativity is putting people off. Anyway, now that the polls indicate that people are leaning towards a no-deal Brexit, now is the time for all Brexiteers to loudly make the case for a WTO Brexit and chuck checkers. So, please let us all know what you think by leaving a comment below. Thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video. And also, subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, Please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching.